Where are the Dragon Balls? They're either hidden somewhere or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runts summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Krillin! The Dragon Balls are over there! Gotcha! Let's go, Gohan! The radar's showing that the Dragon Balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. So, they actually buried them in the ground. Huh, we've got all of them now. Ah, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools. Once that thing makes an appearance, I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality. Harunga appears. Well, here goes. Right. Come forth, Shinran, and grant our wishes! Uh, nothing happened. What's going on? Where's... Where's Shinran? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it. What the hell are those two doing? Quillen! Someone's coming this way! <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. D does... does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the... Goku, did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Balls! How did you do that? What do you mean? Obviously, we used the Dragon Radar. The Dragon Radar? So, did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. Uh, you know, there's something different about you, Goku. I can't quite place it. That's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Huh? Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? I, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it! Wait, what did you say? <sighs> hmm? And you're... Krillin! Go on! That's not me! <laughs> wow, you actually made it this far! <laughs> That's correct! I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force, Captain Ginyu! <laughs> no, it can't be! That's my dad? He swapped bodies! All this really complicates things. Go on. Trillin. I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah. You're right about one thing. That's my body. Not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool! The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks! Let me join in a fight, Captain! I can totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? Vegeta! We, 
When did you? I think it's finally time to test this new body of mine out. Vegeta, we're all done for. Not good. Now, your body is mine, Vegeta! P perfect. Change! I did it! 
did. <laughs> I turned him into a frog. <laughs> Tell me how to use the Dragon Balls. Tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish, or die! <laughs> it's too late for you. Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. He, he's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. What? What? A little worm from before. Curse you! You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? I'm not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Force. No! All five of them couldn't have! They couldn't have all been defeated! No! Something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Force! And the Dragon Balls! No! I, the almighty Freezer, will be the only one to make any wishes! Not lower life forms like you! This medical machine here. It should put you back in prime condition before you know it. Oh, and might as well give you some battle suits while we're at it. That way you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? I don't really like how it looks. Whoa, this is crazy! It's super lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. And these shoulder pads don't really get in the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Go on. We should head over to Guru's place while Goku's recovering. If we don't find out how to summon Shenron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. Right. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Uh, okay. Someone's on the move. Wait, that power. It's Dinde! Krillin! Go on! What are you doing here? Uh, well, we finally collected the Dragon Balls, but we can't do anything with them. So, we thought we'd head to Guru's place and ask him what to do. I knew it! This is perfect! Grand Elder Guru told me to find you two and tell you how to use the Dragon Balls. You won't be able to make a wish unless you say it in the Namekian language. Namekian, huh? I guess that would explain why it didn't work before. We need to hurry. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much time. Frieza might be on his way here as we speak. Uh, right. Oh yeah, what about Vegeta? He said he was gonna rest up, right? Yeah. He's probably still sleeping. Good. We gotta make sure we're extra stealthy on the way back. Ugh, made it. So how's Vegeta? Uh, he's still sleeping. Well, he's been in his fair share of battles recently. Now's our chance to leave him here and go make our wishes. We gotta grab the Dragon Balls and make our way out of here without waking him up. Even if Shenron wakes him up, we should still have enough time if we're far enough away. Uh, 
All right. It looks like Vegeta doesn't even know we're here. Yeah. Huh? S someone's coming this way. Th they're super fast. Huh? <laughs> it's Frieza. Hurry, did they? Do what you need to do to help us make our wishes. R right. Takarapto poporunga, poporito paro. They're glowing. And the sky, it's getting dark. Just like the Dragon Balls on Earth. You who have gathered all seven Dragon Balls, now state your wishes. I shall grant you any three wishes that are within my power. Uh, whoa! That Namekian Shinron is one generous dragon! Hurry! Tell me your wishes before Vegeta or Frieza get here! Oh, uh, right. First, ask him to bring back everyone on Earth who was killed by the Saiyans! Banda Parura, Ruti Mararu, Van Paritsu, Humera Tohero, Runchuro, Itash Konspa, Pontero, Rupche! I am unable to grant that wish. I am only capable of bringing back one person at a time. They can only wish back one person at a time. Hey, let me talk to Gohan. Hurry! Okay, okay. Place your hand on my shoulder to talk to him. Thanks. Gohan, can you hear me? It's Piccolo! Mr. Piccolo? Listen up and listen good. Okay? I know what's going on there. That first wish of yours, use it to bring me back. If I'm back, then Kami will be as well. You have to trust me on this. We can use the Dragon Balls on Earth to resurrect everybody else. We can bring them back! Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And, as for the second wish, you have to make him send me to Namek! I want to make that wretched Frieza suffer slowly for slaughtering my people! I'm a lot stronger now thanks to the training I've done. I know I can beat him! You have to warp me to Namek! Okay, Mr. Piccolo! Good! Do whatever you want for the third wish! Dinde! Ask him if he can bring back Piccolo. He was a Namekian that used to be on Earth. Okay, you said his name was Piccolo, right? Tetorapto Hoto Piccolo, Pupimero Papi Moposo, Patorate Morimpe, Kuri Pupas, Kuya Kirigo, Owotaku Horoksa, Pero Pupo! Understood. I will grant your first wish. Kame! Piccolo, what is this? What in the world are you up to? For our second wish, please ask him to take Piccolo, the guy we just brought back, and then warp him straight here to Namek. Okay! Tarumopura Akororu, Stenonipuro, Hikoloru Magaka, Kamakaroru! Consider it done. I shall grant your second wish. So, this is Planet Namek, the home of my people. Not sure why, but there's something familiar about it. Now's not the time to get emotional. 
I need to find Gohan and the others. I'm sensing a massive energy in the distance. Ugh, it must be that monster Frieza! I sense three huge powers near there. They've got to be Gohan and the others! I thought for sure Frieza was on his way here, but what the hell is going on? Why is it dark outside? There's no night on this planet! What the hell is that monstrosity? Those Dragon Balls and those twerps, they're gone! That beast must be the Shenron creature those two were talking about! Ugh, I can't believe they took the Dragon Balls right from under my nose! Damn them! Your second wish has been granted. Now, state your final wish. Wait, he granted our wish? Then where's Piccolo? Well, you did ask to have him sent to this planet, but but you didn't say where. D did you want me to have him sent here? Oh, no, now what are we supposed to do? Uh. Uh. Oh, you actually thought you can trick me? You're going to pay for that! How could you be so stupid? Get it through your head! Frieza can't be defeated unless I'm immortal! W wait... We get three wishes! So that means... There's still one left! What are you doing, Gohan? Well, now that's what I like to hear. Now then, make me immortal. Frieza's already on his way here. Hold on. Do you not have a final wish? Oh, man. We're out of options at this point. Hurry, Tinte. Grant Vegeta's wish. I hate to admit it but he's our best shot at getting out of this mess. Okay, I'll ask Purunga. Yes, finally! Frieza has no hope of beating me now. Even if I don't have the strength to beat him, I'll eventually wear him down. <laughs> okay, here goes! Dragons disappeared! The Dragon Balls, they're... they're stone! G Grand Elder Guru? He's gone. He finally... died. What, what do you mean? What about my immortality? Uh, I'm... I'm sorry. Oh, uh, oh no. It's... Frieza! Well, you've really done it now, haven't you? You have destroyed my dream of attaining true immortality in the most spectacular fashion. As for the lack of response from the Ginyu Force, I suppose I have you to blame. I don't fully understand what has happened, but this is a rather surprising turn of events. How could I have foreseen the Dragon Balls turning to stone just as I was about to make my wish a reality? I can only imagine Vegeta's disappointment, though it pales in comparison to my own. This is a first, to be sure. No one has ever been foolish enough to make a mockery of me on such a grand scale! You... You worms will pay for this! I'm going to make your deaths long and painful! None of you will escape my wrath! Prepare to experience hell! We're... we're doomed! What is this power level? There's no way we can beat someone like this! 
Of course. Did you really think three measly ants could defeat a dinosaur? We can beat you! There's enough power between the three of us to take you down! The power level of those two keep rising, and the kid still has a ton of untapped power ready to go! Not to mention, I'm getting even closer to becoming your worst nightmare, a Super Saiyan! I grow tired of hearing about that preposterous myth. Please, you are no Super Saiyan. <laughs> it's no myth. I'm strong enough now to take on even that freakish transformation of yours. Transformation? Did you say transformations? What are you talking about, Vegeta? A small number of people throughout the universe have the ability to transform when needed. Some camouflage themselves with it, while other beings use it to conserve their energy. My transformation serves another purpose, I'm afraid. You see, my power is so great that I struggle to contain it at times. What did you just say? He's bluffing! Relax! He doesn't have that much power! Oh, you think so? You know, I recall when I took over Planet Vegeta. I hadn't a need to transform in order to subdue you simian barbarians. And your king. That's right, Vegeta. Your planet was nothing special. Not even your father. I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. My father's strength back then pales in comparison to mine now. Huh. So it was Frieza that destroyed the Saiyan planet. Go on! Transform! Show us what you really look like, Frieza! <laughs> Very well. If you wish to die that badly, then I'm more than happy to oblige. You're in for a rare treat! Not many have had the privilege of seeing this form! It's insane!